All right. Bernoft, one of the guys who was really influential to me. Let's talk about him a little bit. Rip, 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 rip. Come on, so he's got two microphones, which is important. The one on the right is what he's looping with. The one on the left is what he's going to sing to. He's starting his loop with a vocal loop, which for me is difficult. I usually start with the guitar. He's got two vocals going on now. He's got a harmony going on. No, it's just unison right there. Now he's beatboxing, but he's beatboxing with a bass line too. So here he's he's singing a bass line as long as well as beatboxing. And then if you look at his guitar, he's got a ga- a capo on the lo- on the high four strings and the last two on this guitar. He's playing them as a bass. Now you'll hear he's playing the bass line that he beatboxed earlier. So he's singing through that left microphone. That's why he's got the two, right? So what's really cool is if he didn't want to play his bass right now, he didn't have to because he beatboxed the bass line. But now he's playing along with it, so it's kind of matching everything. It's kind of cool. And then he got the capo, so he just strummed a chord, right? An open, an open chord right there while he's still playing his bass line. Another chord. Lost his capo. Now he's going to be playing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Threw back in the vocal loop, right? Yeah, see how he's lost his capo? He's going to use those high four strings here in a second. Oh, now he just looped the bass line. And now he did the vocal harmonies. Chorus time. So he's playing new kind of rhythmic chords. He has that riff, the guitar riff going on. Now he's strumming the chords. Now he's playing rhythmic chords on top of the the bass line that he looped along with his vocal loop. He doesn't look like this anymore. He's changed his whole style and whatnot. But I remember when I found him, he looked like this. It was really cool. Oh, he's still got that bass line still in there while he's playing those chords. It's so cool. Effects on his guitar. Brought everything back in. He's not even playing. He can just sing. He can vibe now. He's got all these cool layers now. So he's recording that. He's on his looping microphone right now. So he's just... Each section, he's progressively adding more and more to add dynamics and variety to the song. Because it's really easy as a looper to just set something up and just go through the song. And that can be super boring, right, for an audience. But being able to progressively add variety and components to your song throughout it as you go is really key to engaging an audience with looping, right? He even looped his guitar with those effects on it. Sounds like some kind of an envelope filter or a phaser or something. Those falsetto vocals he just did on the singing one. That's the variety that he can add to the live vocal, right? He's not trying to record that. You got to give your space for what you loop to then add something on top of it. So it... Bernhoff's awesome, man. Good stuff, man. I love this guy. He's really set the standard for, for effective live looping. Go check it out. Go look at more.